Hey there, it's Alana. I've received some questions about this particular problem, and I think it's tricky enough that we really need to make a video for it. So let's get into it, shall we? Um, this is, by the way, is problem 44, number 13. You can tell that by looking over in the corner. I'm looking at it through the study plan. Of course, it could show up in a quiz or a homework or wherever. And I'm going to use Excel um, in general if you're using a calculator, as in if you're a face-to-face -face student and you're using your calculator, that's fine. But Excel, even for face-to-face -face students, is probably better um, because it organizes your life. <laughs> okay, so here we go. We're going to look at... Um, could it be that smoking actually increases survival rates among women? The accompanying data represent the 20-year survival status and smoking status of 1340 women who participated in a 20-year cohort study, complete parts A through E. Okay, so remember 20-year cohort study means that they got this group of 1340 women and they studied them for 20 years. All right, you click on the icon and you can see there's two tables. There's this one where it's just smoker, non-smoker, dead and alive. And then it's this one, same data, but they've broken it up by age. And all you have to do is copy. You can copy to clipboard. And then you can go to here and you can paste, which I already did. <laughs> and then you can do it for the other one. And I already did that. It's over here. Sorry. But you just copy, paste, right click, paste, nothing major. And I just made the, you can see that's what it would look like but I made them um, bold and such like that because I, I like to be able to look at it. All right, and then also to make my life easier, I'm gonna make this window smaller and I'm gonna drag it over here. There we go, point you over. Um, that way I can see them side by side, which is kind of a smart move to, to do. Um, that way you can kind of see your calculations and things. All right, so the first thing I wanna do, um, because I'm gonna need to know, is I'm gonna need to know um, the marginal frequency distribution and that's a fancy way of saying find the totals in the margin right? okay totals now we should have known how to find the totals already but if you don't um, you're just adding them up okay you're adding up the smokers you're adding up the non-smokers if you're working with Excel you can just use the um, auto sum feature you can type equals sum and then say oops not negative sum my fault sum and then tell it what you want it to sum and it'll add them up for you and then you can drag it down if you're working from a calculator you're just finding the total add these right add these dead add these alive these alive and you get that and so on okay so that's the marginal frequency distribution it's frequencies because they're whole numbers and it's marginal because it's in the margin and distribution because it's the whole table with all the spread okay all right, next thing we want to know is it says what proportion of the smokers were dead after okay after 20 years. Now notice it's talking about of the smokers, which means what I really want to know is saying of all of the smokers, what proportion were dead, right? So what I'm looking for is a conditional distribution. It's really a conditional relative frequency distribution, but... Because they want to know, yeah, I thought that might happen. All right, it doesn't like how much I'm trying to type in there. Okay. Let's see if it let me do that. Oh my goodness, I can't type today. Oh, you're just going to be like that, aren't you? Okay, fine. Roach. Yes, I'm picky about how I like these things to look. I'm sorry. That's just it. Okay. And I'm just going to copy and paste this in. Now, what I really want here is I want to know how frequent was this in relation to this guy. Okay. And because I'm in Excel, I'm going to give it F4. That way it's got dollar signs. And that way when I drag the formula, that B5 stays with the dollar signs. Right. See how that's B5's got dollars? That way when I dragged it down, it didn't change. Here, let me click here. See, it's still B5, because I want to divide by 594. Okay, so according to my calculation, 0 0.2, oopsie, oh no, I pressed enter. <laughs> 0.241, enter, there we go. And then what proportion of non-smokers? Well, I've got to do the same thing, hold tight. There you go, you can pause and see the formula, but it's got C3 and C5, right? Because I want to be able to, right? leave the C5 alone and then I can see that proportion of non-smokers are dead are 